it is November 27th and I am congested so I've got a little bit of a cold um, and had to cancel plans that I had made yesterday to maybe grab brunch with Greg and then today to meet up with some fellow members of Chronicon who were going to be in town but the interesting thing was out of the four of us, three of us ended up having to cancel. Um, so I've pretty much just been in bed the last couple of days, getting a lot of rest, watching a lot of Netflix, and um, and catching up on things before the week starts. So I am getting ready to not only travel back to the West Coast this week, but also um, I'm going to be out internationally next week. So this week, yeah. Um, and Saturday is International Day of People with Disabilities. So the days kind of surrounding that are always pretty full for those of us who work in the disability advocacy space. But today, what I thought I would chat about is the four layers of gratitude which is what I was originally going to make my Thanksgiving my Thanksgiving post about but if you saw my TikTok live my friends giving TikTok live we also went over them then so to give you a little bit of background November 29th is going to be the 25th anniversary do we call it an anniversary 25 years of the car accident and since the car accident happened, like, the day after my dad's birthday and right around Thanksgiving weekend, I found gratitude, like, something really hard for me to access. Because for a holiday that was supposed to be about gratitude, I just, like, wasn't feeling super grateful. So over the last couple of years, probably 20, in 2015, 2015 was 18 years after the accident and I was like my this accident is an adult now ended up buying a sweatshirt or a hoodie that said my heart is full I got sucked into one of those like small business Saturday deals um but I bought two of the sweatshirts and I still own them and I went on a journey of really trying to explore like what does it actually mean for my heart to be full so I actually have a annual hashtag or a hashtag that I have for the year and for 2016 it was my heart is full 2016 and if you go on Instagram and you search up that hashtag you should be able to see I think all of my posts from that year um but in 2020, someone I had met through the Summit community, Jessica Ensel Coleman, was hosting a virtual program called like a gratitude adventure. And I, you know, I online courses and like online things have been a little bit hard for me to hold myself more accountable, but I was like, this is something that's important to me. So I ended up joining the gratitude adventure. And I learned about these like four different layers of gratitude if you really want to experience the fullness of, of, of gratitude um, and why it's so important. So the first is, the first layer is how most of us understand it. It's our response to what are you grateful for today? And, um, and I guess if I think about my response I'm grateful that I can, I'm grateful that I am back home. I have a place to come back home to. My mom has been making me dumplings while I've been home, so I'm grateful for dumplings. I'm grateful to have access to water so I can stay hydrated while I've been feeling under the weather. I'm grateful that I have my own bedroom in this home so I can you know, be feeling under the weather on my own. I'm grateful that I have access to the internet. Um, and I actually just rebooked my flight back to LA and was able to use Miles. So I'm grateful that I 
can use my miles to head um, to cover the cost of my flight back to LA. So the second layer of gratitude is called wins. And this is different from gratitude because wins are kind of like an accomplishment or a goal or something small or big that you are really celebrating. So it's your response to what win, however small or big, or what accomplishment, however small or big, are you celebrating today? So a couple of my wins, I am celebrating that I got up and took a shower today. I know especially when I'm not feeling my best, it can be easy for like hygiene to just fall by the wayside. I am winning. I'm celebrating that I had enough miles to get this flight. I am winning that I made some strides on the housing search in LA, which is still ongoing. It's been a lot of moving around. I am, what else am I celebrating? I'm celebrating that I have some like really big news to share for 2023 that I can't share yet. Um, and over the past couple of days, I've been kind of re-upping posting more frequently on Instagram reels. So I am winning having the video content to pair with some of the sounds that I've been finding. So that is layer number two, um, celebrating your wins. And then layer, uh, layer number three gratitude is future gratitude. So this is thinking about what like goals and dreams you have in your life. <laughs> Um, or you have in the near term, short term or longer term, and expressing gratitude for those things as though they have already happened. So here are a couple examples. Um, so some future gratitude. Um, you know, one day I would like to get married and have a family so I can say, I'm so grateful for being in such an incredibly healthy loving and supportive partnership. It just feels like a warm hug. And I'm grateful for the life that we're building together and our family. And then another goal is like getting more settled in LA. So I can say, I'm grateful that I love the place that I live in in LA. It's in an amazing neighborhood. Um, easy to get to where I need to go. I feel at home there. It's so cozy. I feel safe. I love hosting people and entertaining friends. And I'm so grateful to have found my home in LA. Um, and another goal is a high school goal of mine was that I, I've wanted to write a book. Um, so I can say, I'm grateful that my book is out in the world and that it's being so well received and it's got all these incredible five star reviews on Amazon. And it's been on all of these bestseller lists. It's a New York Times bestseller. And the publisher is so happy about it. They, um, I have not only paid my advance, I, um, I'm now getting royalty checks. And now they want to do another book and another book after that. Um, and, uh, and so those, those are some examples. Oh, and then I can have like, I don't know, like one for social media, like I'm so grateful that I have half a million followers across these platforms and that people care about the types of things that I'm posting about and that brands are continuing to want to work with me and I am continuing to book speaking engagements and really lift the tide that the disability experience is valuable. So that's the third layer. And then the final, the fourth layer of gratitude is called love waves. And for this, you send, uh, you record a one minute video uh, that you would send. And that's about like one person that you're grateful for and why you're grateful for them. And then you send it to them. Um, and if you don't feel like you are a camera ready or want to record a video, you can do a one minute voice note or send like a thoughtful text, but make sure that you actually send it to that person 
because it will not only make your day, it'll make their day. So let me think about a love wave that I would send. Um, I can send one out to my subscribers on Instagram. And so it could be something like, hi there subscribers. I just wanted to record this quick video for you to let you know how grateful I am that you are a subscriber. It really means a lot to me that you wanna support me in this way. And I hope you're enjoying all the content that I have put together. And you are all so amazing. And I appreciate the way that you show up consistently and, and really have like put dollars where your values are. It's really meaningful. So I wanna say, I appreciate you and I'm grateful for you. And I hope that you are feeling all the gratitude from not just people that you met on the internet, but people in your life as well. Whoever that chosen family is for you, I'm wishing you all of the best. Um, and I hope to chat with all of you soon. So that's an example of a love wave. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> so, so that's what I wanted to talk about with gratitude. Um, I'm feeling a little bit lower energy. So um, another win would be that I recorded one of my daily updates. Um, so thanks for watching. And I actually, and I think I just saw I hit 350 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So for those of you that are here, I am also grateful for you. Um, and the last thing I'll close with um, as I opened kind of why this gratitude journey has been so important for me is I just sat in the depths of my grief after the car accident for so long and I didn't think gratitude was accessible for me. And there's a quote from someone named Francis Weller and the quote goes, the work of a mature person is to carry grief in one hand and gratitude in the other and to be stretched large by them. How much sorrow, sorrow can I hold? That's how much gratitude I can give. And I actually learned about that quote in my gratitude adventure group. And when I saw that quote, things just like fell into place. And it reminded me that like life exists in these, like in this being stretched by your grief and your gratitude. And if you are currently in the depths of your grief, like that quote reminds me that you also have the capacity to be on the other side of that and to be able to just sit in spaces of immense amounts of gratitude. So even though I'm feeling under the weather, I still showed up here and I'm still grateful. Thanks so much for being here. Talk to you all soon.